Hey guys, Omni here. Today we're going to be checking out the live action Yu Yu Hakusho series that has dropped on Netflix. This one is five episodes, which is an interesting decision. Now, I haven't reacted to any of the trailers here on the channel, but I have watched them myself. And just from somebody who's actually watched the anime the entire way through, they've definitely changed some stuff. That's very visible. <laughs> so I'm real curious to see how this goes. Honestly, I was kind of surprised by the level of the effects that were in this. I thought they were, from what we saw, were pretty solid. I think something that's going to take some getting used to is obviously seeing these characters and these aesthetics and in live action and getting used to that. You know, with the live action One Piece, I, I, you know, I was familiar with the characters, but I had never watched the anime or anything like that. So, like, I was able to just kind of accept and see the characters for themselves for this I have a Hiei statue right back there, man. I <laughs> So like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm gonna try my best to like see this as its own thing and we'll see what happens. But guys, let's go ahead and strap in. If you wanna see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you got a member of the channel, get you access as well. It's a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes and reaction the entire episode. Over there, you got the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage, to try to make it worth your while, so sure to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really does help us out over here. And with that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into Yu Haka Show Episode One. Here we go. Are we starting with the wreck? Yep. He's popping the squat quite well. He's taking this in stride quite well, man. Ooh. Ooh. Is it is it is it sinking in, buddy? Four hours ago, a giant sinkhole over here. Now, I will say, it has been a while since I've seen the series. Since my last time watching it, it was probably like 10 years ago. So, I might be fuzzy on a few details here, but... Oh, <laughs> 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 この<笑><笑> Okay. Is that Kurobara's sister? I forget her. I forgot her name. Yusuke. Oh, no. His mom. <laughs> that makes more sense. I don't know why we would have skipped to that. There he is. I understand them not going with the, the red pompadour, but like it is just like a interesting choice either way. <laughs> he did have a real good Yurameshi. I'll give him that. Oh! Holy fuck! <laughs> Dude, I hate, I gotta say, like, the choreo so far, it's brief, but it's snappy. I like it. It was clean. Production quality, I'm, I'm quite impressed with, though. The sets, the framing, the camera work so far. I'm impressed. So this hell mouth thing, this big old pit, don't remember that at all. I think that's uh that's new. 
correct me if I'm wrong. Because again, like I said, it's been a while. Dude, do you not... F oh, well, he wouldn't, would he? Oh! Jeez! Yeah, he doesn't care about his reputation as long as he's doing what he believes in. Is it the truck? Gah. Oh God. It's twisting and contorting his, his face. <laughs> They're cabbages. And there it is. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh my God. Wow, that was more than I expected. And now we're all caught up. <laughs> no broom? <laughs> it's kind of his entire existence. Oh, they aged him up. He's 14 originally, I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> so nonchalant, man. Dude, let's go. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I love that imagery, man. Oh, dude. See, like, I saw that effect on the water, and I was like, man, is that just bad rendering, or is that a choice? It's... because it's not actually water. <laughs> I saw a lot of people were upset they weren't doing him as a baby. They were just going with his adult form. But, I mean, it just, it makes, for live action, it just makes sense to do it this way, dude. <laughs> ナイス。まだ軍師の。お前は。エンマか。場所はエンマ大王ジュニアの公園まだ。口の汚いを注意しろよ。お前を生き返らせてやる。その代わり霊界探偵をやってもらいたい。人間界において妖怪が関わる事
Okay, man, they didn't spare any expense on these sets. <laughs> Just a speciality of his. Mm. I love the colors. Like this palette is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, of course they wouldn't give a shit. Oh, he's bringing him a note. Oh. <laughs> God, it's dark now. They're still going at it. They're going to kill this kid. Jesus. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh! What the hell? Ooh! Oh my god! This body work is insane! Oh no. Oh no. つまんねえこと気にすんな。ケンスケ。ニョ。なあ、ボタン。生き返るには何すりゃいいんだっけ。ニョ。でも、そうと決まれば下準備をしないとね。ちょっと待ってな。蘇生は成功した。だがもうそれどころではないぞ。え？祐介、聞こえるか？緊急事態だ。な、なんだよ急に。妖怪に取り憑かれたり。Wait, did we just like bypass his revival? His body's alive, but oh, yeah, we got a problem. Yeah, his body came back, but his spirit hasn't come back to the body yet. <laughs> oh! Nice! 
なんだって聞いてやるからさっさと生き返らせろそのことは忘れるなよ<笑><笑> Okay, I guess it was like halfway done The body was the prep they were talking about You're running out of time, buddy. Oh, I think we're, I think we, I think, uh, I think we're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time. Poor kid. Jeez, man. Oh, nice. This stunt work, man, is honestly pretty impressive. We have time? He doesn't even have a hand anymore. And his eye is on his forehead. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Propane. This music is really good. Oh my lord. <laughs> I can kind of see why this is just five episodes, because I don't think they spared any change. It's gonna have to draw on that Yusuke Yurameshi need to protect or need to bicycle. Oh! Oh! Hell yeah! Alright. We've reversed some of the effects. Now we just need to... Now we need to cleanse! Oh, nice. Oh, that thing got big. <laughs> what about his face, though? Will that come back? I'll be honest, I forgot what Sakyo wanted originally. Oh. <laughs> 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 Seriously, he's probably like thinks he's hallucinating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
ですかこんなの相手にしたらユウスケなんてひとたまりもないですよ分かっておるだが例のものはうん絶対に悪用されてはいかんのだあおーおーオッケーわおわおわおおおまいガッ !What the hell? Yes! I think yes! Yo! Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh, we really are. Ooh. Hell yeah, man. The one thing, though, I, I don't know if I could get over is that wig, man. <laughs> That's the one thing I've been stuck on. Yo! Oh, it's like the same material as the, the water that the boat was on. Dude, hell yeah. That last little bit, man, we had Kurama showing up, we got Hiei, we got Goki, we got the three artifacts, though. They aren't as I remembered them, obviously there was the orb. I thought one was a sword, but that was clearly looks like a dagger or a kunai. I didn't get a good look at it. A sheet of paper? A book? There was a book. Because I, if I remember right, and this, like I said, it could be, I could be completely wrong. Like I, 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 it's been forever since I've watched this show. But like, I remember, I thought it was a mirror. Like I thought there was a mirror, a sword and an orb. So obviously, changes like we'll see what they do with it i don't know we'll see what happens there's a lot of stuff that is kind of uh shaking things up a little bit i think with this whole sakio thing going on with uh his casino and him buying this land that has this unending sinkhole it's just this hole in the ground that goes on forever and ever and ever and ever i don't remember that at all i don't remember that being a thing again correct me if i'm wrong it's been a long time i don't remember any of that shit but he's using it for some ends and again Another thing I don't remember clearly is his motivations in the end. I know about what he gets himself involved in. Again, I don't know how much of that is going to fall in line here. I do like the way that they portrayed him, like the, the hair, the costume, all of that. And then with his casino, his kind of keen, uh, what's what do you want to call it? Instinct for gambling. I like that. And then all the stuff with Yusuke, man. I know we got like a real quick jump in to the death and his introduction to the spirit world. But we got a lot of nice little moments that just really, in a nice, concise way, show his character, why he's our protagonist. You know, he has this reputation of being a delinquent and he's not really worried about uh, what other people think of him. Like that's the least he could care about in any situation, but he always stands up for people who need help. While he is perceived to be a bully, that is not actually the case. You know, it's just bad circumstance. And when people find out the certain situation, much like with that uh, teacher showing up and, you know, blaming him for everything that was going on, thinking he was the one stealing the cash, he's not one to like try to stand up for himself either. You know, it's it's a waste of effort in his, in his eye. If they don't see him for who he is and for what he's doing, it's not worth explaining to them because their perception most likely won't change either way. And much like that in a, some nice little brief ways they show they did a good job of showcasing his interactions with Kuwabara. And again, speaking of that, the action and the stunt work in this episode, I found extremely impressive, especially in that the, some of the quick little interactions between those two and that little fight that they had, that scuffle before Yusuke died. I thought that was really nice. And then on top of that, once we got to like the guy, uh, Kirino, who got possessed, whoever that stunt person was, man, the, the contortion, the kind of like chaotic way that they're just kind of slinging their body around and 
while also in a very directed manner. I always find that stuff really impressive. This was one of the like great examples of that. Um, and I think another time I saw that I was very impressed was on the train to Busan. I, I think those, like the k people that were playing the zombies in that were phenomenal in the way that they really kind of made it this otherworldly, sickening, kind of ter terrifying thing to see. And then Yusuke's fight was also fantastic because he doesn't have a handle on his abilities yet. You know, what comes with the job of being a spirit detective? You know, he, in, in just like a brief, instinctual moment to save Keiko, you know, he was able to draw on that. That's kind of his driving fire in this, allowed him to catch that falling flaming beam as he was going back to her to get her out of there. Um, again, I think there's a lot of creative choices, especially with Koenma between the anime and here that I, I wholly understand. And I've I've never been one to be all that huge a fan of Baby Koenma anyway. And for anybody who's just watching this and you haven't watched the anime, in the anime, he has a baby form, that which is what you see him as 90% of the time. When needed, he will turn into an adult form, as seen here, and it's pretty spot on. Also like the visualization of them, him kind of sorting through these lives and passing judgment. I thought that was a nice, interesting way to visualize it as you know, as well as just kind of our introduction to the spirit world as our introduction to their lair. Again, the production value in this was really good. The sets and the cameras, the color work, everything kind of on screen was just honestly above and beyond what I have seen in a lot of live action, you know, adaptations. You know, One Piece really kind of set the bar for that, especially considering that is a much larger scale. It's a whole other endeavor too, because that was made in the intent for going to the West. This is still a Japanese production. And I don't know if this is the same team, but I would not be surprised if this was the same group or a similar stunt group that worked on the Roroni Kenshin films, because when Hiei did that slide and slice, yeah, it made me think of Kenshin, dude. Um, I'm excited to see the powers. I think all the effects look really good so far. Again, a lot of what we're seeing, aside from like the effects and like this, like the spirit energy and the some of the fire, is is all fucking practical. I was really impressed by that, especially like with the scene of the. Uh, the truck careening through traffic. Again, while there have been some tweaks and some changes, it does really feel like the characters' cores are that, w that we've been introduced to so far. You know, we haven't really got spent any time with Hiei or Kurama or anything like that to really kind of get a gauge on them just yet. The character designs from the anime translated into live action, there's a lot of creative liberty you got to go through to kind of bring this to life. So getting used to Hiei's real world look, same with Kuwabara, which grew on me over time. You know, when I first saw him, I was like, I can see why we did this, but I don't, I don't know how I feel about the choice for like the hair and all that, all these little things that I didn't have to worry about in the back of my head when I was watching One Piece, I hadn't seen that before, so I didn't come into it with really any expectations. But with this, you know, I, I, I'm a little protective. This was this was part of my childhood, man, my teenage years. I really do love this show, so like, I'm trying to like balance that out. But all, that, all said, I was very impressed. This is a really good startup. It, you know, they spent time in the emotional elements and the character moments, especially at Yusuke's funeral, making sure to kind of hone in on that you know, giving us your appreciation of life, where he's like, people are probably just better off, you know, they're probably relieved I'm dead. And then seeing like the opposite of that and seeing him kind of be there for his funeral. And then the way that we lingered on that with Keiko and his mother after was also nice. And it's also nice that we saw a little glimpse of his home life and just kind of his routine before everything got disrupted. I just, overall, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm again, impressed. While it's not a one-to-one, -one, aside from the Sakyo thing, because I know where that's building and based on, like I said, based on the trailers, we're already setting up something very different from where we get to once we kind of address the arcs that are being depicted there. Or, well, it's like an amalgamation of arcs. There's like a whole combination of things going on there, but we'll talk about that more when we get to it. But the initial arc is obviously when Yusuke gets recruited, when he dies, gets revived, gets recruited. The next thing is this, this little setup with uh, Karama, Hiei, and Goki, and the the artifacts. So it's it's curious to see how they kind of amalgamate. I wholly imagine we're going to completely skip the Saint Beasts. <laughs> I'm very curious to see how this goes. Ian, we only have five episodes, so there's going to be some very interesting choices 
to make this all go. But even with all that pre-existing knowledge going into this as a fan, honestly, this first episode, the first episode was really good. It was really well done. And I think like even without that, I thought it was really well handled. I do think maybe in hindsight, you know, if I didn't have some of that pre-existing attachment to Yusuke that the opening segment about, you know, post and pre his death and resurrection was a little rushed. And maybe, I don't know for anybody that hasn't seen the series before coming into this, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to get you emotionally invested in Yusuke. I don't know. It worked for me, but again, I'm able to project a lot of that and bring a lot of that with me. So I don't know how that's going to work for anybody going into this completely with no experience with this at all. So it might feel a little rushed, but by the end of it, after we got past that, after we got past the death, I think everything was very smooth. I think everything escalated and progressed in a very consistent manner. But guys, what did you all think? I would love to hear from you guys. If you've seen the anime, if you haven't, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you're going to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking up before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan Karen, your course, Scott Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Amy Becca, Casey Woods, JoJo, and Scythe. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.